What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to another video. So as you can tell in this video, we are talking about Mario Kart and Mario Kart 9 as we have, well, a little bit of news to share regarding the hopefully upcoming title in Mario Kart 9, the newest development in the series. So let's take a step back, kind of look at the history of the game. You know, we're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here in this video, but Mario Kart 8, you know, it dropped in 2014. And, you know, that's seven, eight years ago now. You've got Deluxe that dropped in 17. And you've got Mario Kart Tour, which I believe dropped in 2019. So we've had a few, um, a few, a few developments in the game, right? We've had a few different things come in the Mario Kart series. But there's been absolutely nothing about Mario Kart 9. And, you know, there's no brand new Mario Kart game on the Nintendo Switch. You know, some may say... Deluxe is a brand new game, but at the end of the day, all it is is a better version of Mario Kart 8. So we really haven't gotten that brand new Mario Kart title on the newest Nintendo system. They've been dead silent. And, you know, there's a few things that probably played into this, right? You probably got COVID that delayed a few things. Um, you know, just over the past two years, there's been a million different um, things that have come up that have delayed games and delayed a lot of things, you know, in, in the world, which is totally under understandable. Um, the other thing which might make, you know, Nintendo kind of slow down the development and not be in a rush to really get Mario Kart 9 out is, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is selling incredibly well. Uh, if you look at it, it is the number one selling game on the Nintendo Switch at over 38 million units sold. And, you know, just ahead of Animal Crossing, a little salty about that. I really want Animal Crossing to be number number one. But Deluxe, you know, it's been out since 2017. If you buy a Switch, you're probably going to buy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I mean, it just kind of makes sense there. But at the end of the day, we need a brand new title for the game. And we know that they're working on it. We know that um, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when and what capacity. But with that being said, we have an analyst that has come out and given us a little bit of insight as to what the future of Mario Kart is and when we could really see Mario Kart 9, uh, you know, really come to the Nintendo Switch. So let's jump right into what came out. Over the past 24 hours, there has been a an article that is just absolutely blown up on social media. And it's about a quote that a industry... You know, let's call it an industry influencer, a, a somebody who is knowledgeable about the industry, an insider, if you will, has come out and talked about you know Mario Kart 9. And what, what he or she has said um, is that Mario Kart 9, right here, here's the quote. I'll, I'll read the whole thing. I'm aware Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still selling very well on the Switch. We talked about that. It's still number one. But Mario Kart 9 is in active development. And in quotations or in parentheses, and comes with a new twist. And Nintendo could tease it this year, being 22. So let's let's break this down. Mario Kart 9 is in active development. So it's confirming everything that we knew in the sense that Mario Kart 9 is coming to the Switch and it's only a matter of time as to when it will come to the Switch. On top of that, they go on to say that it comes with a new twist. Now, usually with Mario Kart games, we do get some sort of new feature, something that is brand new to the series. You know, we got the gravity, anti-grav kind of thing going on in Mario Kart 8, Double Dash. You know, you had the two-player on a cart. Um, you know, just thinking Wii, you had the motion control aspect of it. So a lot of new things, or I should say big features, usually added to each of the games. So taking it with a grain of salt, that's not necessarily a, a mind-boggling um prediction that there's going to be a new twist because it's pretty obvious that there's probably going to be a new twist in any new Mario Kart game that they release. But the big thing here and the thing that I find most interesting is not only the active development, but the fact that Nintendo could tease it this year, meaning we could see it in some sort of presentation, whether it's E3, which is fully virtual this year, again, or is it going to be in a N Nintendo Direct? whether it's in the spring or the fall. But the fact that we might get our first insight into the game and first look at it this year is huge. Because usually when they tease a game in a non-COVID world, they are going to tease it you know, probably the year prior, especially with, with, a, 
with a game of this magnitude, right? So it's interesting that they say we could see it this year. And what that tells me is that it's not coming out in 22. It's going to probably come out in 2023 um, as the feature title. And that also makes sense to me because you've got Breath of the Wild 2 coming out. You've got Bayonetta 3 coming out this year. Um, you've got some new Pokemon titles coming out this year. Do they really want to add a Mario Kart 9 to the 2022 lineup? Probably not. So with that being said, 2023 as the feature title does make perfect sense in my mind. And that, that is pure speculation and just my opinion. It makes perfect sense to release Mario Kart 9 in 2023. So that's going to be all the information that we have on the game right now. It really is a confirmation that the game is being actively worked on. It's going to have a new twist and it could be teased this year, most likely in a Nintendo Direct type format. So let me know in the comments, what do you all think about Mario Kart 9? What do you think that new twist could be? What could they add to the game that would make it new, fresh, and energized? Let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Later!